All right, hello, wine drinking people. We are back. It's still Friday, March 11th, and a lot of drinking going down here over the last couple of weeks. We haven't been able to keep up with our show here, so we got to get through a lot of stuff today. And hey, you know, I've been drinking Spanish wine lately. We did have a Spanish tasting up at the Tower Club, and what do you know? Another Spaniard stops in, uh, David San Pedro, a young and talented winemaker, working with. Um, you know, some single vineyard wines and also uh, assembling some wine, something that's traditionally done in Spain. Usually they'll buy grapes from several different growers and, uh, you know, make a wine. It wasn't until recently that you saw a lot of great estate bottle wineries popping up. But uh, that's not what David does. He does consulting for several people, and he's got projects that just go to America, like several of the labels that we had here this afternoon. First up, we had Don Sancho Londoño Hormia Cortilla Rioja Blanco. Okay, man, that's a tongue twister, huh? Uh, just a little bit of advice, Dave. Um, maybe uh, a little shorter names to uh, make it easier to pronounce for wines that are just marketed for this country. Okay, well, this had some dry hay earth and some dry kind of hay nuance to the nose with white grapefruit citrus and white floral nuance. Crisp and clean, light and lean with a nice touch of mineral and sea salt on the uh, finish, leaving the salt the, the, the tongue refreshed. Uh, really nice little wine. Uh, then next up we had the Bodegas Hormilla El Bronzo, Rioja Blanco, Blanco, Rojo. Okay, well this is a single vineyard Rioja Alvarez wine and uh, well Rioja Alta around the same elevation. And then uh, <clears throat> a blend of Viura, Muscatel, Mavazia, Garnacha Blanca, and Jan. Okay, that's a grape that I'm not familiar with, but a lot of unique grapes in Spain and grapes that are named uh, different uh, in, di in the different regions where they're from also. So a very special wine and made for the U.S. only. Okay, a fairly complex bouquet with a unique floral and kind of hint of quinine to the nose there. Tangerine, lavender, really interesting bouquet. A nice amount of fresh tropical fruit on the palate with good structure and uh, depth and flavors with a nice hint of spiced oak there, uh, the terroir showing through on the finish, nice freshness and link there. Excellent white wine. Uh, definitely my pick of the whites. Then next up, the Don Sancho Londo Hormillo Cortijo uh, Rioja. All right, another nice name there. A blend of 80-20 Tempranillo Garnacha, uh, fresh strawberry fruit, really, uh, you know, nice entry level uh, Rioja here. Uh, very easy drinking, a crowd pleaser. The Garnacha adds a light, uh, fresh and fruity component to this wine. Light drinkable, a real nice crowd pleaser there for 10 bucks. All right, next up, the Bodegas Don Sancho Londoño Calma. And um, Rioja Alvarez boasts the highest altitude in Rioja, 700 meters. This means a naturally lower production. And uh, they harvest this wine in late October, also a very late harvest. A blend of 90% Tempranillo and 10% Graciano. Uh, this grape is high in color and acidity and low in sugar. And they always put it in the ground reservas in order to uh, give these acidity to age. All right, the Graciano, similar to Cabernet Franc, they believe. And uh, this wine's got a light nose of barnyard and floral nuance, cocoa spice, old saddle leather, very fresh and bright on the tongue with a nice savory quality to the finish and a nice amount of minerality they're showing also. Very good. All right, next up, the Hormia El Bronzal. Remember, this is the single vineyard. The El Bronzal is the name of the, um, the vineyard, or the area, rather. And, um, you know, this is a collaboration between David and his importer. And it's a blend of 80% Tempranillo, 10% uh, Graciano, and 10% Garnacha. Uh, this is, uh, as I mentioned before, El Bronzo. Um, the name of the vineyard means wild herbs. So I guess this area was covered in wild herbs. Just imagine an area covered in wild herbs. So covered that they would name it the area of wild herbs. So, I don't think you get a little more creative with some of the names here. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, a fresh bouquet of herbs and dried flowers. Um, it's nice uh, wild strawberry and uh, red cherry fruit, a hint of mocha and espresso nuance to the nose. A good amount of that earthy herbaceous quality to the palate and finish and uh, pretty long and savory. Um, 40, excellent bottle of Rioja, really nice uh, for 33 bucks. All right, well next up we had a few wines from Bulletproof. 